Hello everyone, how are you going? And welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6, where on my road to Impoppable, I just need to be checking out the last one before that, half cash. So, besides my free glue gunner, I only have three towers that I can afford. Hmm, uh, boomerang I guess would probably be alright. Right about, uh, you know, somewhere around there. Well, I'm already about to have a couple of people squeak through, but I'm not too worried. I can afford to lose those lives, and I guess once I do get long range rangs, it should be okay. Actually, I do have $651, and so I could get Sorta or the Druid. Hmm, probably Sorta, and she can go in a usual kind of spot, but right. Oh, on the bottom this time. Well, I'm hoping maybe by the end of this round I should be able to afford a banana farm. It'll be really close if it is. Yes, okay. By $22 it is. So now that leaves me with the question, what do I want to be getting? Do I want to prioritize a banana farm? Nothing is squeaking through, but I could also get a druid or a wizard monkey just to be able to take out camos and leads. Because I guess unless you can get some serious banana farm farming going, then you are going to be just struggling for money the entire time and really just not having enough money to be able to buy what you need to be able to take out all the different types of balloons. And so, hmm, like I said, probably a wizard monkey but then I have to worry about purples and so I don't know maybe a banana farm first so I can start to afford more things oh the banana farm is also half I mean actually it said all cash generated and so of course it is I just didn't even take that into consideration I didn't lump it in with banana farms but geez I guess you have to be careful about how many you buy because you either have to get a lot to pay them off quickly so then you can afford the things by around 40 60 and all those things or you just have to not completely overcapitalize and just hope that a little bit of extra money is enough oh it's difficult I mean look for now I think I'm all right I would like to get red hot ranks just to start carving up some more leads, but I just save about eight more dollars and increase production it will be. All right, well, for now, I'm just gonna be sinking as much money as I can into the banana farm and then otherwise saving up it, well, okay, until I actually see a whole bundle of leads come out. So there we go, red hot rings, and that'll take care of it just fine. But hopefully now that I've gotten greater production and stepped over that first hurdle, I will just slowly see my income ramp up. I don't know if I'll get a second one before round 40 or if I just have to prioritize other people. I think it's going to be the latter. I mean, for goodness sake, I still haven't gotten my glue gunner and so I might as well use what's free to me. There we go, glue soak corrosive glue strong because I think that's the best and then hmm how do I want to be possibly approaching round 40 I think oh I think I should be able to save up for a mob assassin then everyone should be all right but let's just see actually instead of spending that much money on a mob assassin before round 40 I don't really need it so I'm just going to grab a bomb shooter but just get more baller instead and then do I need bigger range it already kind of covers the start so top path it is obviously this is round 39 and I don't think I'm going to be getting enough money to buy another one but like I said I should be okay especially with sword ability. I also upgraded the glaive or the boomerang to a glaive and so you know what oh actually that is not what I wanted I wanted to press b for banana farm but instead I pressed ninja and then spacebar to start it but hey okay that overall didn't seem too bad everything was all right I used the ability and then got cleaned up relatively quickly but I guess it has to because otherwise it would just get straight through either way a second banana farm there and I do want to know can I fit oh how can you not fit a druid in there it is the widest gap in the world anyway hmm well I was just about to get a druid but then I just started having flashbacks to all the times that camo leads have just steamrolled me and so I'm wondering do I get a sniper or actually I've been talking about it the entire time I'm just gonna grab a wizard first and that should be then be good well honestly looking around I am fairly confident with what I've got going I would like another banana farm but I don't want to stuff up the spacing especially considering the druid is apparently the size of a boulder and so I guess I'll just chuck him down as close as possible there we go and then banana farm look at that why can it just go through its head it's so ridiculous whoa hang on a second the entire thing is ramped up I'll use the abilities where I can but look at that I used to stop them in the first corner and now they're just creeping through my goodness the druid is actually saving me or a bundle of lies but down to 44 I mean I've got them to spare and I've got them to spend but I don't want to spend too many in saying that I was about to get greater production but I think I just need druid of the jungle that will help out massively I mean I guess at least I finally do have foreign so I can just peel back on the banana farms for a second because oh that's right it's round 50 so I need to be dealing with the mobs as well that certainly wasn't too bad and now I just have to wait for the other one to come out I guess because it will be the same look at that though I still need more camo how can I get it and what can serve me because I don't think oh there are a few too many things ah uh, Oh, oh, ninja, 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 ninja. Oh, oh, I didn't get to put it down. Oh, too grand. I had so much money in terms of cows, but I was playing it on fast since I was too slow. Ah, oh, $300 it is because that was just such a shame. And my goodness, I guess now I know what I'm in for. But God, it just, all of a sudden it changes. I guess I just really need that wall of fire. That will make a big difference. And then, oh, an ice tower for the camos as well. That'll be lovely. 
shove you straight in the corner there, all the way up as high as I can. There we go, that'll be fine. And then probably a sniper after I get attack shooter as well. Here we go, the perfect combo just to take out everything that's little. Look at that, what a difference it makes immediately. I mean, yes, I did have a little bit more money than I had at the start of the last round, but oh, I just wish I was faster on the trigger. Well, look, a lot of money has gone into that ice tower, but honestly, looking at the results and looking at the previous history, I do believe that Embrittlement is worth it, especially because Moab's come through and they now get shredded as well. So I don't even know if I want a Moab Assassin. It'd probably be nice. I guess I should probably, if nothing else, just grab another bomb shooter just to do some more Moab kind of damage, but I really don't think that I need a Moab Assassin just yet. Look at that. Even the camo leads come out and they stand no chance. That is an absolute roar. All of a sudden, they go from just, oh, well, I'm on the edge of my seat to sit back and relax mode. Oh, but actually, I guess the BFB, uh, am I worried about it? I don't really know. I guess, uh, okay, not too bad. Um, well, well, I guess that proves me right or wrong or I don't know what, but either way, I'm happy about that result. The only thing is, though, obviously, this setup is working quite well for now, but I do wonder where is the balancing point where I can start to get a banana plantation, but also just not get completely overrun all of a sudden because I don't have a tower or they just send out a wave that I'm not ready for or not used to. As look at that, even just going from around 62 to 63, I went from stopping them at the ice tower to all of a sudden having eight, and it's only eight, but still eight just easily sneaking through. And so like I was saying, I'm just so torn as to what to get. I would love to get a sniper, I'd love to get a druid, I'd love to get a banana plantation to make more money so I can afford those things, but which one first? I mean, look, in my mind, there really aren't too many things that provide more value for money than Dragon's Breath. So with that, I think I could then just save up maybe three grand for one banana farm or maybe six grand for two. We'll see. Here we go. Just going to do something scary and spend three grand. So much money in this game mode just on a banana plantation. I hope I can pay it off before I die. But round 68 might just come and kill me before I even get there. Just who should I look at next though? Because I would love either a sniper monkey or a druid just for the full map coverage. But oh, it's such a hard decision. An alchemist would also be very welcomed a spike factory hmm i haven't used one of those in ages but they were definitely good and they have definitely saved me and also a village it's just oh there's so many things to buy and no money to buy it with you know even something like the heli pilot would be lovely but they are so expensive if you go all the way out to Kamachi defense which is what i would love it's like 15 17 grand or something like that and there's no way i have that kind of money and so i'm just wondering can i afford to buy another banana plantation or do i have to this round so to say have to buy something else hmm summon phoenix that would definitely be good at today have. Hmm, let me just see. I can't remember what this round is. I don't think it's too bad. Oh, that's a lot of things though. Uh, okay, I'm just going to grab Banana Plantation. I'm making enough money. I can almost afford another one as well, but I think I'll just have to save up for Summer Phoenix. Jeez, I'm actually making some decent money now, which it feels weird. Come on now, I know you can take that out, so I think I'm just going to buy another Banana Plantation, but I'm definitely pushing the envelope and I definitely need to get something to attack these balloons. Honestly, looking at what is going on here, I'm just wondering, do I want to summon Phoenix or do I want more attack and ice or can I afford a fourth banana farm? No, I can't. I should definitely just stay clear of that. Actually, let me just quickly check where would a village reach to? If I put it up there, well, can I fit it down here? That's going to be more. Surely. Come on. Look at all that space, that room. Oh, I saw you in there somewhere. I have no idea where it was, but come on. Oh, oh, I'm going to have to hone in on that spot now. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, there it is. Look at the kind of range and everything that is included in that. It certainly doesn't allow me to put a sniper monkey in it, unless, mm, you know what? It can. I just have to put it right there. There we go. Well then, to end up with 5,600 on the dot is certainly very nice. I think I will just grab May Mob just so I don't forget it, and then uh, save up for a third and, for, no, sorry, a fourth and final banana plant just to get things moving and then a jungle's bounty as well. Uh, there's so many other things that I want to buy. But look at that, the main Moab is just such a game changer. In the same way that Bloom Crush is a game changer, it just makes the big balloons sit there. All the little balloons get to go underneath and I guess in this case get frozen and then just burnt alive. And then once that entire thing is passed, then the big balloons come through and they also get dealt with on their own accord. And so honestly, after that brilliant performance by everyone, I'm just going to grab a banana plantation, which is oh, also perfect because I'm about to go into round 80, which I have no worries whatsoever about. Here we go. I guess the main Mob is just holding it right there. Let's see, can I use it now? Okay, well, it broke it down before I even got to, but look at that. Not a challenge whatsoever. Thank you very much. There was a little bit of a hiccup, but once I got over that first hurdle, it has been fairly smooth sailing, and let's just see how far I can go, because I guess, especially in the later rounds, I won't be able to afford as easily the tier fives, and that makes a huge difference. I do, however, believe it is time for a few more towers, and I'm wondering, do I just do an ice tack combo down the right side here? That would be pretty mean, or... What else is there? Ninja, Alchemist would be nice. Actually, a village would be very nice. Another Druid would be nice. Honestly, even the high level Dartling Gun and just straight down that line would be nice, but I can't exactly get that because I've never really used the poor bugger. Whoa, that is a lot of things coming out there. Let me slow it down, but oh, okay. That was actually 
fairly well dealt with. I don't know where they all went and how I just got past that, but that looked like death immediately. Anyway, um, god, I still have no idea what I want to be buying. I guess I could get everything now, but pff, there's just too many options and not enough options at the same time. I mean, you know what? The Druid does have 52,000 pops, and so I think I should be able to afford Jungle's Bounty for it. There we go. It also obviously makes me money, and then, oh, I can get Spirit of the Forest in terms of the upgrade. Here we go. I actually have it selected this time and not Super Storms. So here we go. Spirit of the Forest. Thank you very much. I hadn't seen what it was. 38 grand. Man, that is a lot, but I'm sure given the fact that Jungle's Bounty is pretty decent, Spirit of the Forest would just be pretty darn decent as well. Hmm, how to deal with all those balloons better they? Just getting a little bit too far because once they get past that, it is basically game over, especially considering they are ceramics and so, ah, oh, what is going to be best? Actually, you know what? I'm just going to place down a couple of Dart Monkeys, go all the way up to Spike Pole. I'm hoping that by doing this, I should just be able to shoot straight down that line and take out all those extra ceramics. Ah, but actually, I am getting fairly high up into the rounds and so I will be facing those DVTs soon, so I guess I'll be getting the village. Okay, if I even make it that farm using the... No, I, I did not use the abilities enough, or no, I guess I did. I just didn't have enough towers to stave off all those ceramics, which I guess pretty much all came from the big balloons, and I guess the root of all my problems was truly the money, and that certainly makes sense considering I only had half cash, but to be honest, I think I did all right, even though, like I said, I finished with four grand. As you know, I was making decent money with four banana plantations and the druid on top of that, and so I guess perhaps if I didn't get the ultra juggernauts or just the juggernauts in general and spent that on a summon phoenix, maybe that would have saved me, but really, that is all just a matter of hindsight, and so I think overall, all things considered, even though there was one hurdle, at least I've beaten half cash on round 80. And so anyway, in saying that, I reckon I am finally going to call it there, so thank you for watching this video, if you did enjoy it, feel free to do the YouTube algorithmic things down below, also if this is the first video of mine that you are watching, then make sure to go check out any other ones I've done, or hey, maybe even just want to consider subscribing so that you don't miss another one of these in the future, but all in all, have a good one, and see ya.